it's actually happy mothering sunday to mothers everywhere on sunday emily help me out <laughs> i'll work this year And I don't blame them being out in today's weather. We've got lots of showers uh, and we've got quite windy conditions as well. There are some more pleasant side effects to the showers. Our weather watchers have spotted quite a few rainbows today. Who doesn't have a rainbow? Well, my six-year-old certainly does. Just a part rainbow hiding under that cumulonimbus there spotted in Devon earlier on. Another side effect not quite so enjoyable is hail. A fairly heavy hailstorm in the Sunostal spotted earlier on today as well. Another feature is the strength of the wind. Those strong winds are continuing continuing through tonight and through tomorrow. So just be aware, we could see some gusts of up to 60 miles an hour over the next 24 hours or so. It's all due to an area of low pressure on the satellite. You can see this swirl of cloud to the north of the UK. That's the centre of a fairly deep, and pretty large area of low pressure. These weather fronts move across this tonight, bringing with it further showers, some bands of showers, more scattered showers behind that, but still very windy through Saturday. So a fairly cool flow of air. As we go through Saturday night into Sunday, it will still be breezy for a time. These winds only just gradually ease through Sunday. We should start off with some dry weather, uh, but then this weather front may bring with it some cloud, possibly a bit of patchy rain later on Sunday. This high pressure is waiting to build in. It's not with us really until next week. We're going to keep some cooler air with us, but things do become more settled and a bit milder into next week. We've had a bit more cloud arrive through this afternoon as well, and with that, quite a few showers, and these showers will continue tonight. So some heavy downpours, the risk of some hail, could possibly turn winter across the higher ground of Dartmoor and Exmoor as well through the night and it is going to be very windy. These are the wind gusts in miles now between the 50 possibly up to 60 miles an hour around the exposed coasts. Minimum temperatures tonight between 4 and 7 Celsius. For tomorrow then it's going to be a very windy start to Saturday. Still a scattering of locally heavy showers for the day. Again they could be a touch wintry across higher ground, possibly some hail mixed in there. They become more isolated through the afternoon tomorrow so there should be some drier and some bright weather but still quite Quite windy again, gusts of in excess of 50 miles an hour. Some gale force gusts possible around the hours of Scilly tomorrow, and also some showers with those strong and gusty winds. Here are the times of high water for tomorrow high tide at Plymouth, 0550 and at 1815. Not really much usable surf across the weekend, some very messy conditions, the fairly large waves as well, and that continues into Sunday too. The coastal waters forecast, then the winds are from the west or southwest, six to gale force eight, increasing severe gale force nine at times. Some squally showers out at sea, so moderate or good, occasionally poor visibility. But things are gradually settling down. Sunday, as I said, still breezy, but the winds won't be as strong. A dry and bright start, then clouding over, possibly a bit of rain later in the day. Not too bad to start off the week. I think we'll see some sunshine through Monday, bit of cloud possible through Tuesday. Uh, temperatures not too bad, we will see some sunshine. The wind to be lighter so the daffodils will get a break and I hope all mums especially mums of young children get a break over this weekend <laughs> oh Emily yes thank you very much the news continues online on BBC local radio stations across the weekend whatever you're doing have a wonderful weekend see you next week